N. N. Dimethyl dopamine DMDA, is an organic compound belonging to the phenethylamine family. It is related structurally to the alkaloid epinine and methyl dopamine and to the major neurotransmitter dopamine, of which it is the N. N. Dimethylated analog. Because of its structural relationship to dopamine, DMDA has been the subject of a number of pharmacological investigations. DMDA has been detected in Acacia rigidula. Occurrence DMDA has been reported from the plant Acacia rigidula benth, Fabaceae, in which it has been detected at levels of approximately 11 to 45 ppm. Chemistry Since N, N dimethyldopamine is chemically an amine, it is basic, a weak base, technically, but it is also a catechol, a 1,2-dihydroxybenzene, which gives it weakly acidic properties, so that the compound is amphoteric. Preparation Several different methods have been reported for the preparation of DMDA. An early synthesis by Buck and co-workers began with 3,4-dimethoxybenzaldehyde, veritraldehyde, which was condensed with hippuric acid to give the aslactone. This was hydrolyzed with NaOH to the corresponding pyruvic acid, which was then converted to its oxime. Treatment of the oxime with acetic anhydride gave 3,4-dimethoxyphenylacetonitrile, which was catalytically reduced H2PD in the presence of excess dimethylamine to N, N-dimethyl 3,4-dimethoxyphenethylamine, Finally, the methoxy groups were cleaved with HCl to give DMDA as its hydrochloride salt. A more recent method starts with 3,4-dimethoxyphenylacetic acid, which is converted to its acid chloride with thionyl chloride. This is reacted with dimethylamine to give the dimethylamide, which is then reduced using diborane to N, and dimethyl 3. 4-dimethoxyphenethylamine. The methoxy groups are finally cleaved with hydriotic acid to give DMDA. The shortest method is that of Borgman et al., who converted 3,4-dimethoxyphenethylamine into N, and dimethyl 3,4-dimethoxyphenethylamine by catalytic reduction H2PD. In the presence of formaldehyde, the methoxy groups were then cleaved with hydrobromic acid. Pharmacology One of the earliest pharmacological studies of DMDA was that of Daly and his co-workers, who studied the ability of a large number of substituted phenethylamines to release norepinephrine from the mouse heart. In this assay, a subcutaneous dose of 10 mg per kilogram of DMDA hydrochloride, referred to as 3,4-dihydroxy-N-N-dimethylphenethylamine HCl, failed to produce a significant change in the NA content of the heart. In comparison, a dose of 5 mg per kilogram, S, C, of N-methyldopamine, 3, 4-dihydroxy-N-methylphenethylamine HCl, caused a 45% reduction in the NA content, while dopamine HCl itself caused a 50% decrease at a dose of 5 mg per kilogram, S, C. Another early pharmacological investigation of DMDA was carried out by Goldberg and co-workers, who examined the effects of a range of phenethylamine analogs in an assay based on the vasodilation produced by injection of the test drug into the renal artery of the dog. In this assay, a drug was classed as dopamine-like. If the vasodilation it produced was not prevented by beta-blocking drugs, and did not occur if the drug was injected into the femoral artery. Although DMDA, at a dose of 0.5 mg, caused a marked bradycardia, a dose of approximately 0.75 mg did not increase renal blood flow i.e. cause vasodilation after administration of atropine to abolish the bradycardia. In cats pretreated with atropine and hexamethonium, DMDA is a strong vasopressor. A parenteral dose of 10 micrograms per kilogram produced a rise in blood pressure more than twice that produced by the same dose of dopamine. In an assay based on the increase in heart rate, positive chronotropic response produced by electrical stimulation of the post-ganglionic fibers of cat cardioaccelerator nerve and IV, dose of approximately 15 micrograms per kilogram DMDA caused a 50% reduction of the response, compared to an approximately 10% decrease produced by the same dose of dopamine. 
From these and other related observations, the researchers concluded that DMDA was a potent inhibitor of the adrenergic system via stimulation of inhibitory putative at that time, dopamine receptors on adrenergic nerve terminals, in the dog, an IV dose of 16 micrograms per kilogram caused an approximately 80% decrease in heart rate in the same cardioaccelerator nerve assay, compared to an approximately 8% decrease produced by dopamine. DMDA caused vasoconstriction in several isolated vascular preparations from the rabbit. The pressor activity of DMDA was partially inhibited by the alpha antagonist phentolamine. From these and other observations, the investigators concluded that there were significant species-related differences between the responses to DMDA of dogs and cats, with adrenergic effects being predominant in dogs. Genos et al. tested DMDA for effects in unilaterally caudectomized mice, dose 120 mg per kilogram, IP, nigral lesioned rats, dose 10 mg per kilogram, IP, and on adenylate cyclase activity in homogenized mouse caudate nuclei concentration. 10 mu ml. DMDA showed no effects in any of these assay systems. By comparison, N-methyldopamine also had no effect in caudectomized mice at 150 mg per kilogram, and only a weak effect in nigral lesioned rats at 25 mg per kilogram, although it was as effective as dopamine in stimulating CAMP in the adenylate cyclase assay. Borgman and co-workers reported in 1973 that at 100 mg per kilogram, given IP, to mice, DMDA failed to antagonize the tremor and reduction in locomotor activity produced by pre-administration of oxygen. Tremorine. In another assay, 6 mg per kilogram of DMDA IP, in mice only slightly antagonized the reduced locomotor activity resulting from pre-treatment with reserpine. A dose of 1 mg per kilogram IV, of DMDA did not produce any hypothermia in mice. It has been stated that dopamine is behaviorally inactive due to its rapid peripheral metabolism and inability to cross the blood-brain barrier. When dopamine or N-methyldopamine were injected directly into the nucleus accumbens of mice, however, doses of 12.5 to 50 micrograms produced marked hyperactivity, with the latter being somewhat more potent. In contrast, DMDA did not produce any hyperactivity in doses up to 100 micrograms. In a 1981 paper, Castal and co workers reported that DMDA, in doses of 0.5 to 8 milligrams per kilogram given IP to mice, produced a dose dependent reduction in spontaneous motor activity, occurring within a 20 minute period after drug administration. They also observed piloerection at 2 mg per kilogram, and prostration accompanying the 8 mg per kilogram or higher doses. The effects of DMDA were not altered by the administration of spiroperidol. Receptor binding studies, in competition with 3H spiperone, using receptors from pig anterior pituitary, have revealed the following affinities for D2 receptors exhibited by DMDA, Cahai. 20 nm, Calo. 10,200 nm. In comparison, the corresponding affinities for N-methyldopamine are 10.4 nm high and 3,430 nm low, while for dopamine they are 7.5 nm high and 4,300 nm low affinity state. Similar receptor binding results were obtained when DMDA and DA were assayed using a receptor preparation from rat striatum. Competition against 3H spiperone gave affinity constants of approximately 25 nm high affinity state and approximately 724 nm low for DMDA compared to approximately 10 nm high and approximately 354 nm low for dopamine. Both drugs were also tested for their ability to inhibit the 3H ac release from mouse striatal slices evoked by K+. In this assay, the ED50 for DMDA was approximately 0.06 μm and for dopamine it was approximately 1.9 μm. Toxicity 
The LD50 for N, and dimethyldopamine HCL is reported as 240 mg per kilogram, mouse, I, P, under the same experimental conditions. The LD50 for N methyldopamine, HBR, epinine hydrobromide, is 212 mg per kilogram, mouse, I, P, and the LD50 for dopamine HCL is 1978 mg per kilogram, mouse, I, P. See also N-methyldopamine Dopamine Hortonine References, <references>